Hey guys, it's Puzzle the Gamer here, and it's been a while since I've made a video, but I found this amazing game, Starbound. You've probably heard of it. If you haven't, you should really take a look at it. And I think it's one of the best games I've ever played in quite some time, so I'll just do a little like, look at Starbound, I'd say, or maybe a review. It's still in very early beta, so by no means this is a formal review or anything, but I'm just gonna show you my good character here, Destroyed Orc. Uh, he got... I'm pretty far with him. I'm almost on the last boss for now. You get to see my lovely, ugly, ugly ship. I'm playing as a glitch, so... There's, uh, six races, I think. And... I better eat. I'm hungry, I think. Am I? Not anymore. Uh, there's six races, I think. Glitch is a robot. You can play as Avian, which is a bird. Apex, the monkey. Of all the monkey posters here, go ape. <laughs> Banana. But, uh, yeah, I think I just, only, I only have one character, I haven't even messed around with others, and I've been having a blast. You can, uh, see here you have armor, and you can cover it up with things like the bandit's hood, pirate pants, they give little buffs, but nothing too much, and this is your home ship, and the whole idea of this game is that you beam down to a ship, or not ship, planet, and you loot it, take everything you can, and then like raid the dungeons, whatever. You can you can build a like awesome base if you want, if you're into that kind of stuff. I'm not really, but you can do that and then set it as your home planet. Um I obviously like I just said I'm not really into that kind of stuff, so I didn't do that. I just raid planets and <laughs> try to collect the best gear I can and uh then go to new ones. New ones and better ones. This is kind of embarrassing I'm getting killed by a little bird. Uh but yeah, that's pretty much all you do. So, yeah, you warp down to these planets, you mine resources, like, uh... Like, let's see, this is a little speck of gold right here, but that's not really worth very much. Not even worth mining. Oh, and sand is gravity, so... That's a bit annoying at times, but oh well. Learn to live with it. That's a nice little effect, too. It's a lot better than just not moving at all. But you can warp back up to your ship at any time if you're in open air. And then you can, in my ship, since I don't have a home planet, I just put a bunch of, you know, junk. Not junk, really. All my important machines, which are like my refinery where I can convert ore into pixels. And pixels are the form of currency in this game. Which you can, you can find merchants or you use it for a lot of crafting recipes. And, yeah, pretty much all you do in this game is fight stuff, collect stuff, and get better armor. Which I really, really like. Uh, this is your, I don't know what you call it, your navigation system, I guess, of your ship. And you have to collect fuel to leave. The whole, uh, the beginning, in the beginning, you run out of fuel before you get to your home planet, and you have to collect fuel to keep going. But, uh, I don't think the game got far enough yet, really, to be able to go home. But, see here, this is my little like cl cluster of planets I can go to. It only costs one fuel to go to any of these, and I can't land here. But if I zoom out, this is the solar system kind of thing, and I can go here, and there's only two planets here in this little cluster of planets. And then if I zoom out further, there's all these pl little solar systems of different planets, and you can travel to any of them whenever you want. Like, I could travel here, but it would cost me 200 fuel, I only have 3. And you get fuel by using coal. And coal, you just find, it, co it, it costs 200 fuel, like I said. And, and one coal gives you 2 fuel, so it costs 100 coal to travel anywhere. There's other sources of fuel, I think. Like uranium, but I haven't found any yet. Um, so, let's go explore this a little bit. I think I've pretty much looted this planet, I can't really remember, but, yeah, I have some pretty powerful weapons and armor now, so I'm pretty far in the game, like I said, I'm almost at the max planet, and, uh, these are bandages if you're wondering what I'm doing, healing myself, the armor doesn't really protect you too much from monsters, but it does a pretty good job, the best thing to do is just kind of avoid getting hit by 
first place, but sometimes you can't do that. And there's passive monsters like this. And from what I hear, every monster is procedurally generated from a, there's a like, big list of parts they can be made from, and then a computer just puts them all together and throws them together. So it's different on every planet. Same with the biomes. This is a desert planet right here, but I could travel to any other planet, like a jungle or a magma, even I've done just hundreds of different types, I think. But, uh, yeah. And this right here, this ore is titanium, and that's a pretty rare cut, if you're not rare, but, you know, hard to get to. It's a higher level. It's used for higher level armors, so that's what I need. But it's under this tree, so I kind of got to chop it down. It's a cool little animation. Let me chop it down. And you'll notice I'm able to double jump like that. Uh, you don't start off with that. Normally you can just jump once. And uh, to double jump you have to find text, these text slots. I have two. I have this, but I energy dash, which lets me dash forward a little bit like that. Ooh, ow. And there is fall damage, and uh, I find, don't find that very useful, so I just keep it on double jump. And you just find the blueprints, and you have to build... Or not build, you take it to your tech place in your pl uh, planet, your ship, your home ship, and then you just uh, do what you do. You go to tech and then pulse jump, and I think you have to use it first. You get a blueprint and you use it in your hand, and then it po pops up here, you click on that, and then you hit lock in. Yeah. And then if I want energy ja dash as well, hit lock in, and then they appear here. You choose which one you want, and you can have five. Or, I don't know how many are in the game, I've only found two, but they're pretty rare loot. But, so far from this game, oh, this is one of the big fun parts. There's weapons. This is a grenade launcher here. That's pretty powerful. Uh, but from what I've been playing of this game, I love. And if you can get a server going, if you know how to do that, and you play with friends, it's a thousand times better. I know how to do that, and I play with a few of my friends, and I, have, I haven't played a game this fun in quite some time, so... I just thought I'd share it with you guys, tell you it's definitely worth the money. Like, there's... I have, like, 40 hours or something played into this already, and I'm not even bored yet, which is big for me. I usually buy a game, play it for a few hours, and get bored, but not this one. Uh, so, let me know if you want to see a few more videos of uh, Starbound in the future, when the, maybe some future updates come up, or, you know, like a Let's Play, like, so you can learn how to play with a new character or something. So, yeah, just let me know what you want to see. Uh, but, yeah, just letting you guys know about this game, is that you should definitely buy it if you have the money. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, this is just my little review or check out of this game, so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.